My character's name is Pero Tovar. Uh, at the beginning of the film, he is uh, on the run uh, alongside um, Matt Damon's character, William. Uh, we are mercenaries on the Silk Road. I would have to assume he is, uh, you know, an escaped soldier from the Crusades, probably. And uh, uh, I, 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 I wonder if he even knows he's in China uh, by the time the movie starts, because all he's been doing uh, his whole life is running and stealing. I hope so. Um, I think that there's something very unifying about entertainment. And... Um, the thing that I love about this movie is that it's a, 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 a big, epic, uh, fantasy, Hollywood creature feature um, uh, done very specifically by one of the world's greatest directors uh, whose style is, is, is specifically Chinese. And, um, and so it's a different kind of uh, a big movie that, uh, that I, I really, really want people to see because um, there, is, there is no one like Zheng Mo in terms of his visual style that is so supported by uh, the characters' stories, you know? Um, that's what I fell in love with in terms of his movies, so it would be really fun to be able to infuse a great big, you know, adventure film like this with that kind of texture. They put me into some sword training uh, for this movie. I actually... Uh, 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 trained alongside uh, uh, Ting Jing, and uh, uh, she was better than me. I must admit, um, and but she had a little bit of a head start. She had like you know she started before me, um, but I took some of my cues from her because she was very good. Well, what attracted me to the project is 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 initially is the director, when um, uh, when they when the project was mentioned to me the first time, it seemed too good to be true to actually get to be a part of it. So when I found out that I would be, it's, it's, it's uh, one of the best news I've, I've, I've ever gotten. Mm. Um, the, the, I didn't know what a Tautia was before, this, uh, before I read this script. And um, so it was very interesting uh, t to learn um, you know, the origins of this kind of uh, creature. And, and, and it's exciting to uh, be a part of a project that is going to kind of like uncover it once again because it seems that it was uh, a bit buried by the popularity of the dragon. And, um, and, and it's, a, it's, it's a much more primal kind of like uh, character, very representative of consumption and, 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 and greed. And, and, and just sort of like uh, uh, blind consumption, really. And, um, and, 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 uh, and in numbers, it's, it's such, a, it's such a, a terrifying thing. Ballard is an Englishman that's been with the soldiers that are protecting the wall for 25 years. He got kind of lost on the Silk Road one <laughs> 25 years ago. And he kind of earns his keep by uh, teaching English and trying to make himself useful just so they don't find him so useless that they <laughs> take care of him or send him back out into the desert or whatever. Um, so he's a survivor, and it has a new development when uh, other Westerners are brought into the, um, the, the wall. Well... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm someone that, as most likely, is, it's expressed in the story that I've taught um, some of the generals English. That's how I've kind of earned my keep. One interesting thing is, during one of the scenes, they realized that they wanted translation. And of course, I don't know two words of Chinese. So that day, while we were shooting, I had to learn the text, and I had, Andy Lau had most of the dialogue that day, and I had to watch him, and I had to know what he was saying just by kind of intuition and also by his gestures, because when we were shooting, I was giving Matt simultaneous translation, but I didn't know that they wanted me to translate until we shot. So it was interesting, and it's kind of a testament to Andy Lau being a great actor, because he was very precise 
and I was able to see where I was in the speech by his intonation and by his gesture. So that, that was interesting to me. And I think it's a dream come true. And then my character is int also interesting. That I found out that we don't, I don't have much uh, scenes, but it's important. My character representing you know, traditional Chinese general, doesn't believe in outsiders, you know, things that we have to fight, unite together to, to fight against the monster. So uh, any outsider came to our great wall have to kill to explode, you know. So uh, it's, pr uh, it's not a much uh, challenge, but for me, I do enjoy shooting with the great crew because, you, you know, every day is like learning something new. Okay, today's world. God, you cannot kill Tao Tie today. Oh, maybe using firearms, right? If I got rockets, RPG, uh, all the things I know. But I was like, I didn't know Tao Tie looks like until today. So I was asking, before I was asking Director Chan, so, hey, give me a scene that kill Tao Tie. I want to kill one, just one, come on, please. And Director said, Eddie, I want to help you, but everybody see Tao Tie, you die, do you want to die? I said, oh man, I don't want to die. Should I, st okay, I stay in the Great Wall. So I used uh, like this machinery, like the, mach what's it called, ma ma machete? Machete? Yeah, whatever. The big knife to fire the, 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 the monster. It's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, 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 using like fireballs yeah. and stuff. So hopefully we don't have Tao Tie in the real world. But we have Godzilla's. Maybe Godzilla can fire against Tautier one day. Let's make a two. 